Welcome to day four of our Edinburgh trip. If you haven't seen our previous days, we'll link the playlist below so you can definitely check them out. We've ordered an Uber due to medical reasons to get to Edinburgh Castle. So yeah, we are running late, so we're gonna have to make this quick and we're gonna head off. So just arrived in Edinburgh Castle. Taxi driver couldn't get us up all the way. Um, it has to be like downhill, so you still have to hike up or push someone in a wheelchair just to get up here which can be a little bit steep but it's doable there was another person that we just seen in a wheelchair as well so it's not just me we're now gonna go and explore the castle be away by yourself dressed like an angel in white on the way can you be like a drone straight from a song that I've known We are officially on Edinburgh Castle. It is so windy, it's freezing, and Evan has left me to use the bathroom. And I'm just sitting here, absolutely turning to frost because oh my god, it's so cold. I can no longer wear my hat because I have blown my head, but so far it is so beautiful, and I can't wait to see the rest of it. Build it up like a fortress, wave the flag when I come home. To you. This is the steep hill we have to go down. I'm recording this because this might be the day that I die. Definitely gonna die. He doesn't even know how to push the wheelchair. I'm also gripping the stone super hard because I um, don't want to drop it. But oh my god, we've just basically come from the castle, and that's the last thing I will ever see. Oh, pretty. Oh. Why are you not moving? Oh my god, I almost did that. <laughs> it was a joke. Oh my, oh my god, I don't like it. It don't even look that steep on camera, big dudes. Back. I am leaning back. I'm leaning back as far as my life can depend on it. Oh my, oh my God! Stop it! How are you going to do me? Oh my God! Oh my God! This is such a big turn in. There's a crow waiting for him to peck at my flesh. Oh no, it's the monument. <laughs> Last thing you see. Last thing I see. <laughs> We just finished eating at the restaurant left behind me. For the restaurant itself, I'd say five, and the surface is five as well. Options for me with all my like allergies, I'd say a two because I don't feel like there's three that much on there. And for the food itself, uh, I give it a three because it's a bit sickly and I feel like it didn't have that much taste. And I know Ursula said that he gives it a three to four, but now we're going to head to the Ross Fountain. were up there and now we're all the way down here getting a view of up there it's actually really cold in uh, September so if you are planning to come in September you should to wrap up warm also while we were at Edinburgh Castle um, we had to get a it's like a service where if you are you know with less mobility you can get a car that drives you up there where it's more flat it's a free service you can just ask one of the staff members there and they will help you out I don't think I would have done it pushing Sam up there because it was way too steep like Royal Mile is nothing compared to what Edinburgh Castle is like I said if you are planning to go on it yeah definitely get that service um, you don't have to book it or anything like that go there and ask for it and they will help you out yeah. and the staff are very friendly as well and the view from the castle was just amazing like you can see like the whole of Edinburgh it's the high I think it's the highest peak right or is oh. Arthur Seat the highest peak Oh, let us know. Figure it out before us. <laughs> Sam, what did you think? I actually really loved Edinburgh Castle. I've wanted to go for so long, so being there just felt really unreal. I think that the prices are definitely worth it. However, if I was to say our prices worth it in a wheelchair, 
I'd probably say no, but I do think there is a ticket for people who are in wheelchairs because you can't see everything, so that's obviously my mistake. So yeah, double check that if you are going in a wheelchair. I'm not phased by that. I loved what I got to see. The Great Hall was probably my favourite thing to say. I was geeking out and everything was just taking the mick out of me. And it's like I've been said, the lifts there, the cars that get you to the top, it's really helpful. But 100% it's worth going. We spent a little bit of time looking around the gardens and enjoying the views before heading back to the hotel to get warmed up and ready for the evening. We're back at the hotel. It's been a few hours, I'd say about three, and we've just been relaxing, watching some YouTube, freshening up, and we're gonna be heading somewhere really cool and I can't wait to show you. almost been our two hours already like that's gone past so fast and we really worried about the whole having to spend 85 pound so 85 pounds only for the weekend and then it's 50 in the week you can do it as a couple or you know by yourself you know if you want to but then you have to spend 85 Which? however in a group there is more than enough space for like a big group yeah. Like there's a group in the next one, I think there's like 8 people and there's more than enough space. We probably fit about 11 or 12 people in here if I'm being honest. Yeah. I was also worried about like the options for me because I don't drink alcohol so I was like okay so food is the only thing but they basically said that if there is something I want they can try and do it gluten free or dairy free so that or at least a win-win for me like how much do they have with that. Also they do have another section and you just wanted to come in and enjoy a drink or whatever and they've got live music there was a singer a cat. yeah but they also have like an indoor section as well which is um and they play like obviously pre-recorded sort of like music sort of thing I do think I'm in the early evening so you can see it like the sun setting and seeing everything to that is the best thing I like the best time to come we didn't get to see the sunset just because it's cloudy we get to see all of this lit up and I think it's just beautiful so make sure you subscribe and hit that notification bell so you get alerted when we next upload because day five is coming yeah, yeah. day five is coming and I think it's going to be an actual chilled one for it a may, change. The thing is, it might look chilled on all the other ones. Yeah. But it hasn't been. So tomorrow might be like, it might have a little lay in. A chilled lay. But it's going to be cool because we're going to be colourful. <laughs> Can I say colourful? <laughs> so for now, it's goodbye from me. And goodbye from me.